how does a, a multinational corporation from pharma is in search for transformation for new business models? Uh, who better than Roche? Uh, so Ana Govedarica, general manager of Roche Serbia, and Dejan Randjic, uh, founder of ICT Hub and general manager of D DNA Communications. We're going to do this fireside chat format. And uh, thank you and enjoy. Yeah, day, yeah? <laughs> OK, so s having in mind that we are uh, breaking the schedule, so we're going to start, OK? Uh, as, uh, as slides start, uh, when we are talking about innovation, the top, uh, top of mind choices are telco companies, uh, I don't know, uh, da data and computer driven, et cetera, et cetera. And, but actually, uh, if you're talking about pharmacy and pharmacy industry, uh, the main basic is innovation for, for centuries ago. If we, if we have to think about maybe the biggest innovation we have in our lives, uh, starting from uh, some penicillin or whatever, it's about health and, and, uh, and pharmacy. So I think that's, uh, uh, it's, it's good to have you here and to start uh, uh, this conversation about innovation from maybe some, some area which is not top of the mind, but hopefully we're going to see that, uh, that uh, uh, this from global to global initiative to local impact uh, means a lot. So let's start from, uh, from, from the scratch or maybe with something which is uh, little bit simple and obvious question. Are you coming from health industry or you are coming from pharmacy and diagnostic industry? Uh, what is your uh, aim uh, to, 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 to is, is it about health or about cure disease? Or maybe actually this starting dilemma is directing us uh, in the area of the change or the purpose of your industry. Thank you for the question and uh, good afternoon. And I know that you are completely exhausted with all these uh, uh, big words, but I can uh, tell you uh, one, the thing that maybe will strike you. I think in this century, the human knowledge will evolve so dramatically that we will be able to cure all diseases, all. Remember, all diseases will be curable. So to come back to, to your... Maybe some new diseases are going to come out. Uh, Definitely. Uh, let's see. Okay. Maybe we just don't know and uh, no name about them. But, but I, I'm not so sure. I think uh, uh, w what is happening, the biggest changes is in our brain. And uh, maybe what, what we can uh, see, maybe so some, some new pop-ups there because of the technology. So, uh, but I'm sure that we will then evolve also there. But, but uh, I think that uh, we are working in the uh, healthcare industry uh, because there is no, you know, this is only the, the, the financial perspective that we are following, you know, pharma, then the pharma budget, you know, drug budget, Pricing, controlling, so that's the, I, I hope the old time, I hope the old time. So, so, ho so hopefully you are, m in the future you are going to more and more uh, taking care about our health than taking care about curas, about diseases, right? We will take care about the person. Okay. So it's, it's a completely shift, you know, that we will have one drug fits to all. It will be particularly you your uh, uh, phenotype, where you are living. We will know even your dining room, how it looks, you know, how it suits you to, to your health, to your health conditions. So everything will be dramatically changed to the person by itself. So uh, let's say a few decades ago, when we were talking about innovation in your industry, the picture in our minds is going to be some laboratories, some people in white, uh, in inventing something regarding uh, new chemicals, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So now you are talking about some very significant innovation thanks to uh, tech tools, uh, data-driven tools, uh, and something which which is coming from another industries. So, and I think you already implied what are the main drivers and changes 
which is going into health industry. So, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about those trends? How, uh, how industry, how technology and Invention, inventions and innovations in not traditionally in uh, in pharma industry is going to influence our uh, let's say health ecosystem. Yeah. So in in uh, in the healthcare there are several trends, but I will just point out uh, what is the, the the most important. So in the healthcare, I think the first thing is that our knowledge of our uh, body and the diseases and everything is changed completely within seven years. So meaning the level of the knowledge that we as a human civilization inquires now, it's tremendous. So it means that somebody when starting to study medicine after they're finished because medical studies, you know, five, five years and six it's years, it's already. almost you are finishing and you are outdated. So it's, it's a brilliant change of the knowledge is one thing. Another thing is uh, 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 tech and all the technical equipment, meaning uh, internet of things, everything. Either it's uh, linked with a diagnostic, either it's linked majority in diagnostic, then uh, uh, it's supporting, it's, it's, it's important. But another thing in, the, in, a, in a tech is much more important is the management of data in the healthcare. What does it mean? It's a huge, tremendous, also knowledge that we have all around the globe. What is now the trend? Is a digitalization of the all, not only the hospital system, all the system, and now gathering the data and the, the crucial things. Who is going to be the winner in the healthcare industry is the only one that high quality of the data uh, and how they are making the meaningful decision out of those data. So the knowledge is changing. Then the data management is, the, 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 the is extremely uh, uh, important. And the speed where how we are as a not as a Serbian, but, but also as a, as a, you know, as a human uh, beings, how quickly we deployed all the information into real time, because what is happening now, the real time is uh, our life. So, so how the, the disruption will come from the, uh, all the knowledge, scientific data that we have, and then transmitting into the, the patient level. So basically, uh you're implying that it's going to be a powerful combination between uh, uniqueness of the person and, and uh, big statistical models yes. through which we can predict many things, right? Yeah, and be very fast into, uh, uh, into getting the, the solution for the varieties of diseases. Okay, and I think uh, it's good to, to, to point that uh, something, so one of the key messages I read from uh, Roche website is the future is patient-centric and data-driven. I think you just yes, pointed, I elaborate, yes. elaborated that. And uh, uh, so if I understood uh, that uh, data-driven future is, is some kind of backbone of Roche transformation story uh, in the yeah. present and in the future. It and if you, uh, apart of the fact that you already described, what is the main aim, main goal of Roche transformation, not just as a point for the global uh, uh, well-being of the people, but for, for your company, for your cor corporations, and, and how you going to plan to implement it on the ground level? It's very simple, very difficult to, to implement. We want the innovation come faster to the patient, mm -hmm. very fast. And, and uh, what we are currently, you know, I think that uh, Roche is one of the topest investor in research and development. I think we are on the first one, two, three places. So 11 billion Swiss francs on annual basis going to research and, and 11 development. 11 billion. Yeah, billion. 11 billion annually to the research, research and development. 
17,000 of scientists, but it's not only what we are doing. We are collaborating with uh, so many partners. And I think the, the, the modern world, with the partnering with somebody who has the clue and the answers, and then we can be very fast and faster, I think it's going to be uh, uh, the, the key player in the, in the future. And now, uh, for, for myself as the founder of ICT Hub, one of the most important questions, uh, you presented that, that uh, cloud of huge opportunities laying around in, uh, in the world, okay? I, I, I learned that, that your office here in Belgrade is also involved in development in, the, it, in that worldwide innovation through the Roche. But from your point of view, where we are locally and globally, not just, uh, I'm not asking just as a resource of innovation later, we're gonna tackle that issue, but uh, regarding implementation. Because very often we are not satisfied with our flexibility, with, uh, with the potential for, to adapt innovations, et cetera, et cetera. You, you said one of the main thing is to go fast. So, apart from the fact that you are successfully uh, getting the new innovative uh, drugs on the market, but apart of that, how you can see coming of that transformation regionally and locally? We are doing, uh, um, nobody from Global from Roche is here, nobody, nobody, so I can tell you. <laughs> I, I think that we are on, on affiliate level, on the ground, we are much more faster than, than the global dinosaur. Uh, uh, but they started a huge transformation on the global level. I, I, I just want to tell you that they completely switch off the light with the internal budgeting processes. Who is from the business here? Who is from the business? Who has the business targets? Who are discussing the, the, the targets here? And how many hours we are spending to preparing nonsense slides? Uh, so I, I think that Roche on the global level, they did tremendously important one thing, they completely stop and seize, you know, all this budgeting, preparation, blah, blah, talking. Now we are just come out and talk about what we are doing, how we are going to be faster. Agile and flexible. Uh, one of the themes is the flexibility and agility, but, but what, what they are doing, they started with the all leaders in Roche. They said, okay, no budget anymore, so first thing. The second thing, they, they started a completely new kind of the training for the uh, uh, key senior leaders. And I think that they've been brutally fast. Why? Because they want really to, to change and to speed up this uh, huge dinosaurus like a rush. And I, I think it's uh, look to the some, I don't know, uh, uh, new articles is going to be published, how, how the transformation is ongoing. So they gather all the uh, uh, leaders, obviously assess certain things, and they, what, what they want to see in each of us, they want to see creativity, not controlling, not planning, uh, not dealing with the, you know, facts, one quarter, you know, what is going to be, just a, a, a figure, small figures. No, 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 not anymore at all. What we are doing, we are completely unleashing the, the human uh, creativity. And when they are coming to the old behavior, I am ringing the bell. La 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 la. It's not that. So so we we are going to the, the really new new mo momentum. So we are doing with the BCG, with all this big transformation, McKinsey, everybody. But I think we are using everything, everybody, in order to acknowledge completely a new creative leadership style for the leaders. And I think it's. A, I can tell you, some people is leaving the company. Uh, we are not there, uh, we are just on the journey because everybody would like to protect the, their own space. It's not, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a belonging, it's nice to belong, uh, but, but I think it's, it's, a, it's a crucial change. I think I can tell you I am working in this company, can I tell you how many years? No. 25. <laughs> and 
But you're this is first very time. <laughs> this is first time in my career that such a huge change is, is really happening. But I can tell you what I'm saying. No difference global. I think that we in in Serbia we are faster than them. We are changing. We seize the opportunity. We are. We are so hungry to, to really to, uh, uh, to have a new partners. So if anybody would like to work with a brilliant healthcare company, call us. So we are really open for young people, creative minds. This is product placement, OK? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, you paid for commercial. Uh, OK, regarding the come, future and regarding the business, OK, I know that everything is white paper right now, but if you have some thoughts, some, some secrets you can share with us, what is point of view of the future business models, apart of uh, continuing with innovation uh, for the drugs and med medicines with the diagnostics, but is there something new revenue stream you can see in the future you can share with us, which is not just logical transformation of the of existing business in past decades? I have no answer on that such a huge and complex question. Uh, we're starting to search, we're starting to uh, see the uh, opportunities. And I can tell you, I can envision that, that it will be very... Uh, I would like to see unusual collaboration. I would like to see uh, the the rush to work with uh, some maybe, I don't know, mobile company, uh, some, uh, name it, you know, some uh, startup that is ready to support, uh, you know, the, the, this kind of transfer of knowledge very fast on very easy, simple way. So I think that uh, the, the, there is no, uh, it's endless options that so we can. So, but uh, if I can imply it's, it, it's going to be somewhere around data, probably. Yeah. OK. Uh, that was, uh, uh, you, you, you gave a good point for my prepared ne next question. So uh, inspired by, uh, by Natalie Delic and uh, Vice President of NCR, maybe you're going to collaborate in the future, you or some another pharma company with some NCR or, or some telco company. And But the question is, because uh, we who are not uh, step, uh, stepped in into the your pharma world, we, we imply that it's a very uh, strict environment, very uh, internally and externally, meaning regulations, uh, internal policies, etc., etc. Actually, uh, regarding Russian general industry, how open you are for, for, for cooperation? Is it, is it possible just to jump into your office and to propose cooperation? I think it's everything is possible. Only uh, the, the, you know, uh, narrow-minded, you know, people, they, they cannot see the options. Uh, regarding the regulation, I think it must, you know, this is, this is about the human life and this is about the life. This is about, you know, uh, that if, if any kind of the mistakes is happen, somebody, can be hurt. I, I, I think honestly, from the deep of my heart, that the regulation should be there. And you know, all this strict framing, it, it maintained because I think it's, it's important. But nobody says, you know, that we can come create a, a tremendously new disruption that at the end, the outcome is that the patient benefit. And then we can all together call anybody, you know, uh, uh, government, uh, decision makers, Brussels, uh, Washington, come on guys, let's, let's co-create all together, let's change because this is stupid and this, you know, stop us to, to deliver, you know, the, the, the health to somebody. Hopefully at some point or that point already is existing, you're going to know what you uh, what is the best purpose and best usage of a huge amount of data? Uh, somebody else is collecting that, that data. Is it health system? Is it telco operators? Is it etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So, uh, from your point of view, uh, who has to start that initiative? Somebody third who's going to come out with idea, or it has to start from your side, or 
telco operators has to, has to think about those opportunities? I think all we need to think. It is like a, like a popcorn, you know. Sometimes all all means nobody. Uh, but you know, this is very important. It will be somebody. Yeah. So because this is you know like a popcorn, you know, some bright is coming here, the bright is coming here, the bright is coming here, the brightness is there, and then we have a, a lovely full bowl, of full bowl of popcorn. So I think this alliance is is. Uh, tremendously important. Data scientists, data analytics is something uh, that we desperately needed, desperately. Uh, but, but, uh, and wh what you said, you know, just come on my mind. Uh, you know, we will have different set of data. Others will have a different set of data. So if we have the purpose, and the purpose is, you know, to cure something, and we sit together and, you know, logically, Structurally, algorithmic, algorithmically, name it, uh, uh, find you know the clues, uh, or try to find the clues all together with all the various data. I think we can bring tremendous new new opportunities for the patients, for for anybody, and for business, of course. That's yeah. That's uh, the consequence. Yeah. Of the consequence. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I wanted to ask you: uh, Is it hard for your for your people? and for you here to, to go through that transformation. But I think your attitude already the ans answered the, the question. Uh, I think the question is, it is very hard and very exciting, probably. It is hard, it is exciting, we can ask them, but uh, I, I think the truth is the, the trust. Yeah, and seeing some, some purpose in the future, right? So absolutely, purposes, you know, and it's, it's something that, you know, when, when you have an idea, when you have where you are going, when you have, even if you want to, to, to have a house, material, something, you know, it's, it's meaningful, everybody is exciting, you know, changing something. Do you know how big is changing and supporting healthcare and, and, and giving the, giving the, the motivation for, for also for the people that they are working in? Not only the employees of our companies, I think the people that they, they are working in the healthcare system, they also deserve a new, a new modern everything, you know, uh, uh, around them. And I'm, very and I'm very proud that we are at the end <laughs> uh, on, on time, okay? So but quickly. And uh, I want to ask you for some kind of message and conclusion, but before that, maybe I can push you in some direction I want to push you, because a uh, few weeks ago, I read uh, uh, one something which is very interesting as conclusion of U.S. Business Roundtable uh, through their defining of purpose of corporation. And they said that corporations has to transform from progressive profit to profitable progress. Sounds similar, but actually it's very different. So maybe I can push you in that direction regarding your conclusion. Brilliancy, I think, in, uh, uh, in any, any of us is to, to have the purpose of your life. So I think the, the healthcare has its extremely important purpose. It's a life. Okay. And now we have one video for you.
svetom sa razlikom rošu. Ovo su iz globala došli od I think at the end, let's not continue in order not to spoil anything. Thank you very much.